Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Maybe this is gonna be something really good. You have here the tower card that popped out. And as you can see, just trying to, as I was cutting the deck here, I see the temperance and the four of wands here. So, oh, underneath the deck, you have the two of cups. Let's see what else is here. Yeah, this is a major energy. Um, the Tower, the Two of Cups, the Temperance, the Four of Wands. You have the Justice here, Judgment, Magician. Hey, and I'm going to take eight cards. I've been pulling eight cards. It's the year of the number eight. I just feel like eight is a good number to pull, and then we'll clarify. But this is a, a really big energy here. I mean, Justice and Judgment out here. These are all majors. The Hermit. The Magician, Judgment, Justice, Temperance, and the Tower. And then we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. Wow. I mean, this is like something really big happening for a lot of you in the collective. So, obviously here, the Tower and this Temperance, I feel like this is for those of you who you consider yourself to be chosen, divine, feminine, masculine, light worker, healer, earth angel, Whatever the case may be, the tower moment is here, though. Um, this is, I'm, I'm hearing, like, universal alignment is happening at this time to bring something into balance for some type of mass shift or awakening with the judgment card being here. A lot of you right now with the magician and the hermit, obviously, you're going with Anne or there's a need for you to go with Anne for you to understand something about the tools and the resources that you have or... Um, you need to go on like your own fool's journey to actually acquire more tools and resources for something that you need here. The Hermit card is sort of like for some of you, you're meant to be shining the light in a dark place. Okay. You may be feeling like right now, like you don't really have the necessary tools, the resources, the knowledge. Um, I'm hearing the investors for some of you. It's some, there's something here about you feeling like you don't have what you need, but there's going to be a lot of success here with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. Very successful partnerships, um, relationships for some of you. You could find yourself in a position very soon where you're going into a very serious, stable um, commitment, whether it's romantic or you have a, a really, really great friend that's coming into your life. There could be a, a, a great mentor that's coming into your life that's going to really help you to understand the importance of, I don't know, like you finding whatever it is that you need to go into this new cycle. Um, I know a lot of people have been going through like really, really crazy warfare. I was experiencing it myself, which is why I decided to take, I took nearly six weeks off from the channel um, I had batch content that I was uploading, but I haven't really been um, doing anything with tarot. It just seems to become overwhelming, just the collective energies. And it's interesting because taking a break from, away from all of it, I can tell the readings are, my, my readings, my energy has definitely shifted. I'm not even pulling like the negative cards because like, you have to allow yourself with the tower here to cleanse and purge and lighten your own load because here there there is um with this temperance energy there is something here about a need for a lot of people to practice some type of self control or to do things in moderation. When I see this card here, this has a lot to do with alchemy. You see these two cups are blending here. You have to be mindful for some of you at this time of how you choose to blend your energy. Some of you are blending. Um, your energies with people that need to actually be removed from your your life, from your environment. There's things in your mind right now that um, a, a, even a lot of projections, things in your internal environment and your external, even your subconscious mind that if you are not careful of what is blending here, obviously it, it, it's like oil and water here. It's for some of you, you're, you're constantly trying to for something to work and it's not meant to work. There's a need for you now to call judgment on a situation in order for there to be some kind of karmic balance here. There's a major adjustment that's needing to take place for some of you in your life at this time. 
and oh wow picking up the bo this deck here the four of wands is at the bottom that's what i'm saying like the energy is shifting for the people who want to do the work um i'm starting to talk be a bit more transparent on the the channel because i'm 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 a human i'm a human um I'm having my human experience as a spiritual being just like everyone else. And the things in the collective, they affect me just like everyone else. Um, it just is a matter of what we choose to do to make it through these different trials and tests and tri tribulations that we all face. It was interesting because I said to someone today, I said, you know, as old souls, we tend to have our midlife crisis very early. Some of you could feel very young. You could be in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever, but you feel like you're having a midlife crisis. That, that's how I felt recently. <laughs> and it's because a lot of us, we are we're very old, ancient, wise souls. And the things that, you know, it takes some people a very long time to grasp or understand you already know that this to me it feels even looking at these cards like there's something happening even with like a this is dna coding or an, an activation there's something within you with all these majors here that is awakening um but it's just like the reading that i, I posted i think yesterday there's a tower moment there's a separation there's a period of some type of isolation or enlightenment that has to take place in order for you to manifest this. I will say that for some people in the collective partnership and relationships are absolutely being highlighted here, especially for some marriage. Um, I've seen even with the celebrities and the collective news as a whole, you've seen a major attack on relationships, family, and marriage. And, and I feel like that's really a trick of the enemy so that so many people will become programmed and conditioned to not want to actually have any type of connections like the entire collective now even you know with divine feminists a lot of people are claiming to be divine feminine or divine masculine and there's a lot of distorted energy i'm not here to put myself above anyone so please don't take it that way i just know my where i am with my own self-awareness um and I can even recognize my own distorted energy at times, but there's a lot of people screaming this divine feminine. And when I look at the lifestyle, the habits, the, the patterns that some people fall into, it's really nothing divine about it. Um, and I feel that many people in the collective right now if you yourself even have any kind of distorted energy, this is the time for you to really see the things that need to actually change in order for you to go into like this two of cups, four of wands type of energy. Yeah. Um, Hey, it's like I said, like this whole midlife crisis for the old souls. Um, and I just talked to a close friend who's a psychotherapist a few days ago. And I was just telling her, I said, you know, it's funny, especially as women, every three to five years, we go through this drastic, drastic change where you look over things and you, you hardly even recognize yourself. And that's a very beautiful thing. And... Even myself, like I've been on YouTube now for three years and you can just tell it's just time for a new shift. But will you actually lean into it and accept it? For some of you, whether it's in your career, your family dynamics, your relationships, your partnerships, you're probably with the tower here. You're going through a shift. Um, I'm hearing the word you're mending. Some of you are mending from something. Some of you are overcoming um Things in your life that are final, they're absolute. These are divorces. These are changes in location, relocation. Um, you know, children, you, you could be having, you know, illness or even death in the family. There's, there's major, like, life is happening right now. And if you are stuck and you are distracted in any way, a lot of things are just going to pass you by. And you run the risk of getting yourself stuck in a karmic cycle that you've been fighting so, so long and so hard to get out of. Something here is incredibly 
big and beautiful, but the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck now, it's like you have to have the strength and the courage right at this time to really stand up for yourself and to stand up against all of these different challenges that you're facing in order for you to actually have what is for you behind the seven of wands is the king of swords. This is you being um, <clears throat> taking authority in your own life, taking inventory of what's not serving you and then understanding the importance of you being a very rational thinker and speaking your truth and knowing your, your truth. The King of Swords is someone who possesses a lot of mental strength. The, the, the mental capacity of the King of Swords is probably stronger than any other king. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. The King of Swords and the Seven of Wands is here. This is really, really standing up for yourself. And that takes a lot of strength and courage to do that. This could be this tower here where someone is saying something now and, and taking, like I said, stock, taking inventory of a situation and saying, no, I have to stand up for myself here. I have to have the courage to, to do something different if you want to actually get out of this life of struggle. Being in survival mode. Yeah, the Hierophant. Wow, look. The Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Lovers. I'm telling you. It's a lot of people right now. You you want, wow, and the High Priest is behind it. Ooh, and the Will of Fortune. You're ready. You've been invested now for some of you three, five, seven years or more. Look, I cannot make this up. The Magician. The card just fell out of my hand. So I don't know how or why that happened. But I'm the Ace of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Many of you now, you want something that's going to bring you peace, prosperity, abundance. You want contentment. You want something that's solid. And you're manifesting, manifesting this. And you've been manifesting this. The Magician is now out here twice in two different decks. So with the Magician being out here twice, again, this, this is like you stepping into this um, manifestation power and or ability that maybe you knew was there, but something like your energy, there's something here being heightened. Your awareness is being heightened. You, you, some of you are being called right now to for sure be more creative, to tap into these um, different skills and, and abilities that you have. For myself personally, I have been saying for like tarot is a craft. Tarot is a tool of divination. However, tarot is not my purpose. And I think that the collective is very important for you now to understand about positions and, and titles and crafts and hobbies, but don't, don't actually forget your purpose. There's a dream here that you really want to accomplish for a lot of you. For a lot of you, to be honest, with the lovers being out here, the hierophant and the high priestess, not to make this about love, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with love. Some of you really, really want to be married. You really want like that very stable, secure, that high level soulmate for some uh, twin flame or whatever title you may want to get. But some of you, that's what you really, really want. And it, it feels like some of you, you're working very hard to manifest these divine partnerships. This reading, this energy has a lot to do with divine partnerships. You have the seven of wands out here and the seven of pentacles. It's like there is a this a lot of uncertainty here because you feel like you've been very invested in something here. Um, the king of swords can, can be a very logical thinker, can also be someone that's very detached. But the tower is here surrounding that energy. Some of you, there is um, a masculine around you. This person, or, or if you don't know this person, this could be the energy that's coming towards you. Someone is very, very ambitious, but they're very logical in their thinking and their approach to certain situations. Um, someone is even logical when it comes to love. This, this is a kind of situation that requires patience, for sure, because someone has a certain vision when you see the king of swords the seven of pentacles and the seven of wands i'm going to tell you right away this right here feels like um extreme planning a lot of logic a lot of analyzing the situation this is something that requires a lot of patience and the temperance card here is also a card of patience someone's 
emotions is not going to dictate their actions. And you may have been conditioned to believe that, oh my gosh, you need to act on every way that you feel. But if you really want something that's long term, you shouldn't do that. And it's going to be quite the adjustment for some of you to start operating in this King of Swords energy or for you to welcome that type of energy into your life. The kind of person that they will invest in something and they will really, really take their time because this obviously is, is someone who is fighting for a situation to be fair, to be just, to be right. And therefore, they're not going to rush. Some of you have partnerships that are coming about. It's not going to be something that's rushed. And if you are, are are aiming for this two of cups, four of wands energy where you have the lovers, the high priestess, the hierophant, the ace of pentacles, the will of fortune, this for some of you is like the one. This is the one that, you know, you'll run off in the sunset with and, and you and this person, you will put each other away. You know, like it's the real deal here. So no, this isn't going to come to you quickly. Um... Hmm. The world is here with the page of swords. With this page of swords and the world being here with the wheel of fortune, what I'm picking up from this is that for many of you now, you're about to really, really figure, you're about to be forced to learn a new way of communicating. The page of swords is, you know, and I'm working on this, you guys, with the channel because I'm trying to really clear away a lot of this more negative, toxic, karmic energy. So you guys are going to see that the channel is going to change. The audience is going to change. And I'm okay with that. The page of swords is not just about stalking a person and harassing and illegal surveillance like the energies that we pick up. That's not the only thing. The page of swords is a person who is beginning to research, to study, and to develop. And it doesn't always have to be someone doing that because of any type of malicious intentions. If you are curious about something and you're choosing to study something new and explore something new, that's the page of swords energy. Some of you right now, in order for you to have certain partnerships in your life, the page of swords in the world, you're going to have to go out in the world and learn to communicate with different people. You're going to have to travel. You're going to have to diversify some things. You're going to have to change your mindset. You're going to have to release the programming and the conditioning. You're going to now, like I said, have to be more careful and cautious in your approach to certain situations because the world is here. You're completing a cycle for you now that's over. And therefore, this cycle is over. Your mindset that you had in that cycle, that has to be over too. You cannot keep taking People will tell you, it's just like me. I've, I've moved different places. It does not matter where you move. You take yourself wherever you go. It does not matter what relationship you're in, whether it's romantic, platonic, or family, or whatever. The common denominator is always going to be you. So the world and the will of fortune, again, these are all majors. The world, the will of fortune, the lovers, the hierophant, the high priestess. This entire reading so far is just majors. And then you have the ace of pentacles, the four of wands, the two of cups. This is about partnership. And there's a strong message here that you're going to have to understand the difference between some of you between standing up for yourself and being defensive. You're going to have to know the difference between is this an investment that's worth the wait or am I wasting time? Is this a waste of time or am I being patient? Because the seven of pentacles is out here in the seven of wands. This is where I mean about the distorted energy. See, if you don't really understand yourself and people around you in energy, when you're supposed to be standing up for yourself, you will become defensive and combative. That's not the same. When you should be investing in something that can lead you to your long-term goals, the enemy will creep in and tell you this is taking too long. And right before you have the breakthrough is when you break down and you, you, you abort the mission. Some of you are very, very close to everything that you've, you've been hoping, wishing, praying for or manifesting. But if there's a distorted energy here where you don't really understand yourself or another person or what's happening in the world, in your environment, you could easily miss this opportunity. It could be delayed yet again. 
the Ace of Pentacles is here. Like the Ace of Pentacles is, it's a new opportunity. It's a new opportunity that comes from a lot of hard work and planning. Once again, Seven of Pentacles. But when you get the Ace of Pentacles, it requires even more hard work and planning in order to maintain it. It's just like a person, you you can get the money, but if you don't, if you get the money, but you don't know how to maintain it, it was no point in you ever getting the money. It's people here on YouTube, they make great money. They still have bad credit. They don't, they don't have financial planners or advisors. They don't know what to do with the money. They don't know how to pay their taxes. And before you know it, after a few months or a few years of the high, high revenue, boom, everything crashes and burns because they don't know what to do with making it to the next level. Do you know how to make it to the next level when it comes to commitments that may lead to marriage? Do you know what to do when you get to that next level in your income, that next tax bracket? Do you know what to do? For This is God now saying, do you, when I give you more, do you know what to do with it? Wow, look at that. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's more. It's more, more, more. It's coming. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. <laughs> Over here in this deck here, you have the King of Cups. It's coming. It's coming. It's all, it, it's coming. It's here. King of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups, the High Priestess. The Hierophant. Ten of Pentacles, the lovers, Ten of Cups. I mean, hello, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is that King of Swords energy too. This is someone that's coming in. I'm going to provide. I'm going to protect. This is someone who cares about leadership. They care about breaking le um, generational curses. This is, this is generational wealth. It's legacy. It's being someone being confident in their ability to protect and to provide. This is not somebody that's coming in with a get rich quick scheme or 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 a scam or they're doing illegal things. No, this is someone that's saying, I'm gonna plan. I'm gonna do this the right way because I want it to last. The high priestess is here with the Queen of Cups. This is someone being extremely nurturing, healing, compassionate, having a deep, deep inner knowing and truth. And this Queen of Cups and King of Pentacles, I feel, is two different people, again, with this temperance energy, who are coming together, who are perhaps getting rid of all things that no longer serve them, even putting a death to the old version of themselves so that they can come together. These two people are different, though. They're not. These are two people who are very different, but they complement one another and their goals for what they want in the future is aligned. However, the King of Pentacles is someone who... And the King of Swords can be very detached. The Queen of Cups is intuitive. Very nurturing. Very kind. Very healing. This person, the Queen of Cups, can easily pour into the King of Swords or the King of Pentacles. The King of Swords, King of Pentacles can easily pour into the Queen of Cups. It's a balancing act. Both of these cards here are about balancing. The Hierophant is here with the Ten of Pentacles and it's falling on top of the Four of Wands. Hmm. With judgment being here, there's two people possibly who are going through an awakening. You may or may not know this person. Again, generational wealth. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant. This is traditional. This is someone that wants to plan for the future for their children. This requires somebody to be organized. Do you have the, the right routines? And this is very interesting because if this is a partnership. Again, this is two different people, two very different personalities here. The Queen of Cups is, a, is very free-spirited and emotional, <laughs> has a lot of empathy. The King of Pentacles, King of Swords, is kind of, they don't have much empathy. They may have sympathy for you, but they don't have a lot of empathy. They can tell you, I feel bad for you, but that, but do they feel what you feel? Absolutely not. And they're not going to try to feel what you, what you feel. The Queen of Cups High Priestess is, is your highly sensitive empath. Four wants a higher thing. This is absolutely marriage, though. Marriage. Long-term 
commitment. Higher from we know is a marriage card. This is this, it's a higher level of commitment. This is like holy matrimony. This is being under the covenant, the true covenant of marriage for some. The lovers and the ten of cups. These two people you see on this card, even two two totally different people. They come together though, and in coming together, they, there's balance, there's love, there's unity. The ten of cups. This is emotional fulfillment. It's it's joy. It's contentment. It's it's the building of a family. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles are both here, to, side by side, and the Hierophant and the Lovers. This is absolutely a divine partnership for somebody that we're picking up on today. You may already have this person in your life, or you are well on your way to meeting this person. But before you meet this person, or before things go to the next level with this person, this tower is hitting this tower is hitting where you're going to have to look at, for some of you, you're about to start understanding the importance of you looking at marriage truly as a partnership. You have to start looking at marriage and serious connections sort of like a business. Do Are you weighing the pros and cons or are you just listening to a tarot reader tell you that, hey, this is your person? Will you know for a sure fact that it's not aligned with your actual morals and values? The seven of wands and the magician here, some of you, you're going to really have to cut some of this, this manipulation out of your life. Some of you at this point, you're manipulating yourself to believe something that's false. When you stop doing that, you can, you can fall into a, a more healthy cycle and you will align yourself and become a vibrational match for things that will bring the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles. The will of fortune is here with the world and the page of swords. Some of you with this page of swords, the world and the will of fortune here, like I said before, falling underneath the hermit, you're needing to go within and change your perspective about a situation. Your idea of success has probably changed since your last relationship. Your idea of success may not look like anything that anyone in your family has seen shown you or taught you. So you're going to have to be willing to explore new ideas. Some of you, yeah, six of swords in order to move on to peaceful calmer waters, you may find yourself dealing with a person that's not your usual type or expectation. Now the queen of pentacles is out here who actually goes, of course, with the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. This is mom and dad. This is power couple. Again, this is generational wealth building. This offer is being presented to you so that you can move on to peaceful, calm waters. But the Six of Swords, again, is about you coming out of mental conflict and choosing to release all of your baggage to move into a different direction. Many of you, you have to completely leave your past behind. That's why the Tower card came out first. There is a version of you. So if this is a partnership, whether you're with this person or you're about to meet this person, there's a feminine and a masculine energy both out here who are um, experiencing a death of themselves as they know it. Yeah. To move forward. Your entire perspective about yourself, about your family, about your friends, your finances, your idea of success and everything is changing. And it's what it's doing is it's leading you to waking up the hermit to the magician. You're going with and right now. Some of you, if you're with someone, there could be a separation even because somebody needs to go with and and figure out how to better use their ability to manifest or somebody needs to learn how to manifest. The magician next to the judgment, it, it's an awakening here. There's a change, like a, an, an activation and ascension that's taking place that's going to bring about justice here. And then two people will be able to come together. If it's not about a relationship with you, it's simply about you being able to balance your feminine and masculine energy. Do you know how to be logical, practical? Do you know how to focus on your finances and also be social? Like, can you handle it all? Is the question, do you know how to actually handle all these things that you're asking for? The emperor. 
Somebody said, yeah, they can. Eight of Wands. This Emperor is coming in hot, quick, fast. This is just a, it's a very sudden, swift change of action here. But the Emperor comes in with a very solid foundation. This is a person who understands leadership. They have power, control, and influence. And I'm not talking about, there's nothing out here about someone abusing their power. We're off of that, y'all. We're, we're, we're done with that. We're, we're talking now about you really connecting with your higher self. You really aligning yourself. And I know where I am in my journey. So like half of my channel may not even want to resonate with because if you're still stuck on karmic this, you're, you're not going towards you being a person who is strong and powerful and understands responsibility, parenthood, building wealth. Like it's a certain type of mindset that you have to have to get to that point. And it's just the truth. It, that's the truth. <laughs> The emperor, the eight of wands, some of you could meet a person while traveling, or this emperor could be someone who travels a lot for work. This could be, I mean, this is like fire energy, Aries, that's, that's divine masculine energy. This person is not here to play any games. This is someone who wants to be reliable. You can depend on this type of energy. And these, the emperor and the eight of wands fell directly on top of this ten of pentacles. Some of you, it's not even about you meeting someone necessarily that's wealthy, but even if you could meet a person that could for sure have some kind of power and or influence, or you're going to meet a person who at some point in the future, they are absolutely going to be a, a, a big deal. And this is what brings you the sun. This is what's going to bring you good health, security, stability, happiness, joy, this is an extremely beautiful and positive outcome. Something could be happening within the next eight weeks or something significant could be happening between now and August. The month of August could be significant. Leo could be significant. Leo, Aries, for sure. You, Some of you could for sure um, meet a person that's a fire sign or they have a lot of fire in their chart. This could be you. I just saw the fool on the page of cups. For some of you, if you want to have children, you are either with the person that you will have children with, or you're gonna meet a person and you and this you will absolutely have a child with this person. Or you will birth there's something that you will birth with this person. Wow. <laughs> the star. <laughs> the star. It's destined. It's meant to be. Dang. The Emperor, the Eight of Wands, the Sun, and the Star. On top of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Lovers. Like, jeez. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords. And then, look, the Devil is in the reverse. Somebody is, somebody is walking away from everything. Eight of Cups. Two of Pentacles, no more juggling. Oh my gosh. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords. Somebody is tired of being tired. Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands. Somebody is looking for the one. They're looking. They're tired. They're stressed. Like somebody is just, I, somebody is ready. They're ready to settle down. They're ready to give their all. They're ready to stop juggling. They're ready to balance things out. Again, this may not be someone that you know. But you are going to align yourself if you're doing the work. You should be aligning yourself with people who are marriage-minded. You should be aligning yourself with people who are on their Christ consciousness frequency. You should be aligning yourself with people who have the same morals and values as you. You should be aligning yourself with people who know what their life purpose is. The four of swords is here with the devil in the reverse. This is saying right now, no, no worries. If you're single, if you're single, self-sufficient, abundant, that's fine. Continue working on achieving great things in your life. The four of swords is about resting. Some of you, you're, you need a, a time out to recover because remember, you've just come out of a very difficult cycle. So you need to take a step back. You need to reflect. You need to go within with the hermit card here and actually see that you've released yourself from something, but now you may feel very uncomfortable because there's a, a, a heavy weight that's no longer there. 
I've used like this little analogy before where it's like <laughs> a lot of you who are watching your women, you know how it is when you wear heels for several hours, your feet hurt. And then eventually it's like the pain goes away, but you don't really know how bad your feet are hurting until you take the shoes off, right? Because the pressure, the pressure, the, 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 the different nerve endings and points in your feet, it completely changes when their pressure is no longer there. Some of you, you have no idea how overwhelmed and stressed you have truly been and you're not going to realize it until you walk away. This could be you and or the person that you're dealing with. Someone does not know how stressful a job is until they take a vacation from you. You don't know how unhealthy or toxic a, a friend or a family member is until you take a break from it. You don't know how unhealthy a relationship is until you and a person are forced to separate for some time. Some of you now, this is what's happening. There's like a forced separation or ending of a situation or cycle in your life. And once you walk away, you're going to find yourself wandering and you're going to wander right into the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, right into a brand new passion and beginning where there's a lot of love, there's a lot of creativity, there's wish fulfillment, there's happiness, there's a spiritual connection, there's a bond here that is developing the Nine of Swords. And someone here may even be afraid to experience this because you have the Nine of Swords here with the Four of Wands. Somebody is not going to be able to sleep when they come up into like this new beginning because it's like oh my goodness this is literally like everything that you've been hoping wishing and praying for to the point where somebody is going to have anxiety about it but you need to make sure that you're not experiencing the type of anxiety that would push this opportunity away from you which is the reason why you have to understand the difference between being defensive detached, mean, rude, nasty, and toxic, and you simply just having boundaries. The unresolved trauma and the resentment and the bitterness and all of that from that last cycle, that you have to let that go because something, the thing that that last cycle prepares you for is presenting itself. Somebody is going to be panicking though. <laughs> Somebody's going to be panicking. Some of you, you already know this person. This person, they're already thinking about like you guys making something very official or there's something here about unity. Like this person wants the, the two of you to be united. Um, they like This is just somebody wanted to become one. They're thinking about a committed relationship or proposing an engagement, a marriage, living together. Like somebody wants to share their milestones with you. This could be someone in your life where you've already gotten to several milestones in your life and that person has been there. I mean, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, wow. Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands. This type of, this love and whatever this new Exciting beginning is, I'm telling you, it, it has someone freaking out. <laughs> Somebody feels like their love or their emotions are out of control because they're so overwhelmed with these emotions. So someone here could be experiencing like a heart chakra activation. Someone is completely free from something that was very, very heavy. Yep, I say it. They're completely free. The death card is here. Something is completely over. If you've been praying for a change or even praying that someone that you care for, if you've been hoping that they have a certain transformation in their life, that's happening. And this transformation is going to force somebody to go through a, a life transition Where like everything that you know or everything that they knew is being stripped away in order for there to be like a real rebirth here. Yeah. And the King of Cups is in the reverse. So someone has been holding on to some kind of guilt or shame 
possibly about something that happened in the past or something that they did in the past or something that was done to them in the past. The Seven of Swords here. There could definitely be a masculine out here who at some point, they got themselves in a really bad situation in the past with the Queen of Wands. They got themselves in a situation with someone who could have taken advantage of them or they have learned a major lesson from going through the karma of them mistreating, misusing, and or abusing someone from their past. However, it resonates, it doesn't matter how the person learned the lesson. The point is somebody here has learned the lesson. Someone has successfully like completed a karmic cycle and paid back karmic debts, whether it was because something was done to them or because of something that they did. The point is the, the slate has been wiped clean. And the hangman, somebody learned, unless someone is not confused, the seven of cups is here. Somebody is not confused. They may be overthinking or, or overwhelmed right now by whatever new is being presented to them, but their perspective about it has changed. Yeah, page of cups, the knight of pentacles, the chariot, and the fool. So somebody is ready, okay? For some of you, like I say, if this is you dealing with a person already, they are ready. Whatever had them stuck at some point in feeling insecure, doubtful because they betrayed you or someone else or someone betrayed them, um, they could have been completely detached emotionally or whatever. Someone now is going through a transformation and a life transition where they're beginning to dream of love again. And this person, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, they now are thinking about Page of Cups. They're even receiving spiritual downloads now about how to move forward with a plan as a Nine of Pentacles. What type of work or commitment is necessary for them to show and prove that they're responsible, that they can be a provider. Yeah, the chariot and the fool. So somebody is moving on to their fool's journey. They're moving on to taking a leap of faith and having a new beginning. Somebody now is ready to take a risk. And that feels strongly that this is a risk in love for a lot of people that resonate with this. It could, of course, be like just an amazing career opportunity. But someone, I feel, is just where, look at that, wedding. And for some of you, there was some kind of third party. This third party could have just, you know, it could have been a physical person. For some, there's a third party. It could have been a friend, a family member, someone that was standing in between your partnerships. This could have been a type of person who's giving you um, bad advice. For some of you, your third party is, to be honest with you, listening to certain spiritualists and, and tarot readers or, or preachers or whom at prophets telling you bad information about your life, your situation, that can be a third party for some of you, to be honest. Third party could be a friend. It could be a family member. The third party could even be just your own subconscious mind. Whatever it is, there was a blockage here. But somebody wants a wedding. Someone wants marriage. Oh my gosh. Wedding proposal. Here, Vacation and travel. Here's your destination wedding coming. Fate. It's fated to happen. Something here, it was not clear before, though. It didn't make a lot of sense. Somebody feels like it makes sense to them now, though. I said before, some of you, you could meet a person traveling. For some of you, um, distance has kept you and someone to, apart. That could be the third party situation. Like When I say third party, I want to say third party more as just like an interference. Some of you, you could be going in a one way and your person could be going in a different direction right now. There could be some kind of distance or like I said, travel. But in the end, you have your proposal and wedding. In the end, it's going to be you and this person. Y'all, I'm so done. Divine union. Building a future. <laughs> and magnetic souls. Well, there you have it. Somebody's getting married. You're their main attraction. It's all about you. This is a past life connection. So I'm going to be honest. A lot of you have met 
or you will be meeting your your um your divine counterpart very soon. This person has experienced a death, a major life transformation. They could be going through a transition. This some of you, you and this person, you will have to go through transitions and you will share many milestones together. I will be honest from what I'm getting. This is something very beautiful, but this does not feel like um it doesn't feel nothing about this energy that I'm picking up on right now feels toxic, bad, or like unhealthy. But this is a type of connection. It requires a lot of faith and flexibility. One of you or both of you could have to travel for work. You and this person could live in two different places. There is something here. Whatever this is, though, I just heard the word temporary. Whatever it is, it's temporary. And somebody here, whether it's you and or this person, is willing to do whatever to make this work. Oh my goodness, like, do you see, I mean, main attraction, fate, wedding, divine union, proposal, building a future, vacation, and travel. You and someone could take a trip together or you may meet someone on a trip. You could have a long distance relationship with the person, but you and this person, your, your sacred soul, your sacred soul, you're drawn to each other. This person wants to propose the idea of the two of you building a future together. It says this one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. And then you have your wedding and divine union. With wedding, this is physical. The divine union is spiritual. And then fate with main attraction here. Some things are not clear for it. Like I said, for some of you, you and someone, you're very different from one another. But you're, you only have eyes for them. They only have eyes for you. This may not make any sense to you. You may be looking at this person like, they're, they are not my type. I don't know how this happened or what it is for some of you this could be like a, a childhood friend or lover or someone from your past that you could be reconnecting with or it's just a past life connection this is definitely someone that you will feel like you've known them before wow i mean the high priestess and the hierophant came out together the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Star. For some of you, you and this person, you have a really, really big purpose together. It's something that you're meant to birth, to build, or to develop together. So it's literally like every, like, mountains are being moved. That's why the tower came out first. The temperance here is like even your spiritual team, they're in the background ensuring that you have justice in this situation. And the judgment card is saying that this is final. It's absolute. The decision has been made. It's like God has spoken. This is it. This is really, really great for those of you who resonate with this. I hope that everyone resonates with this. Um... Because it's been a long journey for a lot of people. Um, so it's great that you, you haven't lost hope or faith. But please be sure to be kind. Adjust your attitudes. Like life can be so hard that it's very, very easy for us to get stuck being bitter instead of becoming better. Be careful of what you say, what you do, who you hang out with. Where you, just be, you have to be cautious. This, this is a lot of people now who are going to be taught this on this particular frequency how to truly live a set apart life. I don't care about how many people around you are going through breakups, divorces, loss, or whatever. When you truly know yourself and you know God, you just know that like everything for you is gonna be okay. And maintaining that type of mindset at all times is what's going to allow these more positive things to come towards you. That's what I'm saying. For those of you, I'm on this journey with the rest of you. 
I'm no better than anybody else. I just so happen to have started a channel. Some of you are extremely gifted and powerful. Even me and how I view the cards. Like I said, with the Page of Swords, you hear every reader say the Page of Swords, oh, somebody is watching you, stalking you. It's not about who's watching and stalking you. It's about, are you actually trying to learn something new for yourself? I'm, I'm now making it a point myself to stop even looking at these cards. Stop looking for the most negative thing in every situation and then wondering why are you manifesting so much negativity in your life? Because you stay focused on negativity. You stay focused on the drama to the point where, yes, at some point you become the drama. <laughs> it's true. Everything is energy. Everything. As I say that hot mess and brick wall. And here is Phoenix. With leadership. Staying in bad habits, chaotic, messy situations that leave you feeling miserable and unhappy all the time is going to always lead you to that brick wall. You will not make progress if you stay in situations or relationships or jobs or whatever where you are uncomfortable. It's absolutely time for you to do things differently. The Phoenix here, it's like you're being offered a second chance at life. Everything that you lost in, at this point, like you're being restored and redeemed. But you have to know your own self-worth and value. And this card even says you have to use some logic over your emotions. A lot of things are going to make you mad and sad. And if you act out based on your emotions all of the time, you're going to really make a lot of bad mistakes in your life. Yeah, fragmented. For some of you, you just have too much going on. It's too many different options. You're getting advice from too many different people. Some of you, you need some time out. The hermit here. Because some of the energies around you, they're so messy, they're so chaotic that it just has you, like, your picture is incomplete. Your dots are not connecting. And you don't need to do that, right? Allow that because while you're rebuilding, you're going to find yourself creating yet another foundation with cracks in it. The devil is watching and monitoring everything. The devil is your own thoughts. Your sub, those subconscious thoughts. The things that you are codependent on, the things that you are obsessing over, the things that keep you attached to your shadow self. While you're rebuilding your life after experiencing loss, you have to get a handle on this shadow of yours because your shadow is going to tell you to listen to the drama, participate in the drama. Go dig deeper for the drama. That's, that's your shadow. But you already know your shadow self. It belongs to you. What you should do is rebuild, understanding what your shadow is. Love it. But don't sit there and, and play with it and entertain it every day. I said before, for some of you, whatever you're moving to, it requires flexibility. So if you're looking to start a business, if you're going to date someone even that travels a lot, they have a business, you have to be flexible and adaptable. You have to have an open mind. Some of you, you definitely are going to either it's you or someone that you're going to commit to. There could be distance between the two of you. Are you willing to do long distance for a season? This person may have to travel a lot. Are you willing to do certain things to accommodate that person? If this is actually something that's meant for you, because here it says it has a lot of potential and it's a part of your purpose. You can't be focused on all this drama. You can't. I'm talking to myself, too. Where you're going, this drama cannot go with you. It's time for a lot of you now with friendships. It's time for you to make new friends, to go into different spaces and places. 
It's time for you to build a better network for yourself. Get out of these toxic groups and communities and arenas of people that are just not on the same frequency and vibration that you know you're trying to get on yourself. You're not going to find all of these amazing high value people in these toxic environments that you know you need to leave behind. Attracting new friends, good news, wow, and the star. This is a lot of blessings and wish fulfillment. You becoming more hopeful about your life. This card says needing to communicate clearly. Be open to listening. Like I said before, be mindful of how you react and how you respond to different things. A lot of it is just a test. Bottom of the deck here, soulmate. Some of you are definitely connecting with your soulmate. Some of you, your soulmate is here right now. Some of you, though, you need to make a decision right now. Are you going to stay stuck in the past or are you going towards the future? Which one? What's it going to be? And nobody is saying that the love of your life can't be in your past. I feel like the love of your life is not somebody who has mistreated you and put you through years of psychological abuse, but the love of your life can absolutely be someone from your past. It could be a childhood friend, a lover. It could be for some of you an ex. It could be someone that you dated casually and it just didn't go to the next level. No, it doesn't matter who the part, if they're coming from your past or if there's someone that you meet later, that doesn't matter. What matters is, is it an actual vibrational match? Yo, I'm so done. You have your yang and yang. You saw me shuffle these cards. This is this reading is absolutely about exchanging gifts. A change in the wind. Time for a nap. Stop worrying. You don't have anything to worry about. If you were worried about a divine partnership, don't worry about it. It's here. You're going to be exchanging gifts with a person that was created just for you. Like a change in the wind. You may have to take some time out for a nap. But it's leading you to milk and honey. You're regenerating now, right now. You're mending, like I said before. After being tricked. Bamboozled. Dealing with the counterfeit. Something here that's truly faded is coming. Or it's here. Dealing with that person with all those secrets, that hidden life, that was just a stepping stone for you to prepare you for the wow, look, the will and the love offer with the alien here. Whoever this person is that's in your life or coming into your life, they may feel like they don't fit in just like you. They're chosen just like you. They understand destiny just like you. They understand they have a purpose just like you. This person could be a foreigner for some of you. Like I said, a lot of travel here. They could have a totally different background from you. And that's fine. But this person is someone that wants to take things to the next level. I do feel there's a lot of life transitions, though. You or this person could be pursuing something right now in your career. And you may not know right now if it's best for you to even pursue a relationship. Some of you, it's like life is, is, is coming full circle. It's your ideal career, you understanding your purpose, and you finding your person. It's all coming together. 